This is the Bad Beef Morning Show. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, July 20th, 2013, and I'm here with my companions, Slow Supermom, Betsy Boop, 35. What's going on, guys? Can't hear you, Stiletto. What up, what up, what up? I know, Stiletto's going to blame me. Oh, you muted me, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't. What's going on, guys? Not much. Here, chilling. Going down an appointment in the next few hours. What? Oh, for your uh, your. So she asked me to ask her about. She said, "Oh, we can talk about my my left arm during the during the show." Oh, I'm so sorry. My thing's starting to play songs on my um on my VLC. I'm for sale. Smooth I am, guys. With the uh, interruptions on the computer. Computer, don't interrupt. <laughs> Betsy's trying to talk about her arm. What? So how did you break? First of all, how did you break your hand? Uh, my mommy beats me. <laughs> Just All right. How did you actually break your hand? I back slapped my son on his shoulder. That's awesome. Yeah, it wasn't even that hard. We were just playing around. And I back slapped him, and I don't know, a day later, my hand swelled up, and this is the result of it. I, I, Jesus. <laughs> it went from, from a fractured uh, bone to two fractured bones, and then to uh, getting pins put in. How many pins did you get put in your hand? I think four. Not sure. I'll find out today because they didn't really, they weren't really sure. You know, they didn't give me an exact. An exact count of. Yeah, a count of them, so. That's awful. Yeah, it is. I've never, I've never broken any, any bones or anything. I'm really fortunate. That's good. I've broken, I think, every part. Have you really? Even my butt bone. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna break a bone, I think that's the best way to do it. The butt Do bone. it violently, you know what I mean? Like Exactly. You know, if you fall on something, that's... Eh. Eh. They'd be actually like, yeah. ah. Like, you backside with your son. Like, exactly. That's the that's best the way best. to do it. Yeah. That's the best way yeah. to do it. How old's the son? I feel like I need to address this. 27. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, please don't be, let him be really young. Right. No, no. Right. He's 27 years old. No, but when I went to the doctor, it was funny because they, they had a social worker waiting for me. Okay? Did you really? Yes. What is New they York? I was being abused. That's aw- oh well, that's awesome and, yeah. and, and awful at the same time. Mm-hmm. I told him my mom beats me. My 86 year old mom beats me. <laughs> I'm sure they loved they loved having to deal with uh, whether or not that was a joke. Yeah, they weren't happy about it though. <laughs> they said he shouldn't play around with stuff like that. I said, well, I mean, what do you want me to tell you? But I actually told him I fell. I didn't tell them that. You know, I backslap my son. Zendo really called a social worker down to come and take my son away because my son must have been fighting with me in order for me to hit him. Right. But we were just playing around. We weren't actually, you know. Yeah. Slutter, did you ever break a, break a bone or anything? Um, when I was three, I fell down three steps and I broke my collarbone. Oh, God. That's mm. awful. Um, yeah. I feel like I broke my elbow this morning, though. Like, I banged it. I was folding and I totally banged right into, like, the actual corner of uh, like one of the pillars in my house and I was like really really because that had to happen right right there like your funny bone <laughs> I was like oh mother and all the kids were there right and so I couldn't do my normal cussing I was just like oh mother of oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like really mom really but so that might be broken but yeah, okay. I'm glad that, but I mean at least you got some great drugs yeah, let me tell you about those drugs. Those drugs were not good enough. It wasn't the What'd you get? I was stoned all the time. I got a, what was it, Percocets. That's awesome. It wouldn't take away the pain. It just made me stoned. I mean, seriously? Hey, those are not real meds. I don't blame you. I couldn't even take them after the second day. I said, nah, that's all right. I just got to say, I love you on Percocets. Like, we FaceTime. <laughs> What was More she like? She is freaking hilarious when she's high on Percocets. And she's, <laughs> she's hilarious. Yeah, she's like, she's really slow and she's like, she's very like a weird kind of happy. Like she's happy <laughs> like normal Betsy, but she's like a weird happy. And I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it so See, much. See, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Like, I have like a, my a family addic- a family history of just addiction. So I'm just like, oh, okay. After I, I got like my wisdom teeth taken out, and after the week, I'm like, I can't even take these anymore. Yeah, that was me. I yeah. have that same problem, though. Yeah. I will not take something for more than a few days. No way. I don't blame you. Yeah. 
It's terrible. What about your kids, Stiletto? Have you uh, any of your kids? Any? What's we should tr- what's we should try to figure out what's the grossest injury? Because I I okay I fell off a telephone pole, a little telephone stand once, and uh, uh, ripped my te- one, two teeth out. Uh, one tooth went all the way back. I'm trying to think what else. That's probably my grossest one. I don't have anything that bad. Oh, a, a bit powder my lip off too. Like a little chunk of my lip came off too. Isn't that gross? Yeah, that, that's pretty gross. Um, my son also broke his collarbone. Ooh no! But, Ooh no! That's not good. But everybody else. How did he do it? Know, I want to know. They've been, oh, they've been good. How did he do it? Um, he was playing wrestling with his brothers and fell on the hardwood floor. Ooh, that's not good. And it was literally like he didn't complain about it, and then I have, I have a rough time with anything near the neck or yeah. the eyes. It was bad. Or... It was very traumatic for me, but I just you know went to mommy mode, as Betsy understands. You just go into yeah. mommy mode. You just get him to the hospital, do what you need to do. Yes. And uh, yeah. Oh, I so, did. I did the finger thing too, where my I talked about. On, I think on Friday's show where I sucked my finger got sucked into like a snow machine and it like tore off like top tip of my finger like sideways it's pretty gross kind of awesome my son got his finger bit off by a rabbit oh really that's interesting yeah he was only about 11 months old and we had a pet rabbit my daughter was born on easter sunday so we got her a rabbit for one of her birthdays <laughs> well this rabbit after a few years went blind or some crap so my son decides to feed him cheese doodles <laughs> that's awesome yeah and he didn't realize i mean i mean he's only 11 months old he, the the uh, the rabbit was biting his finger as well. After he finished the cheese doodle, he tasted the cheese doodle on his finger, so he continued to, you know, bite it. And I was doing groceries, and my older son stayed with him. Horrible experience. Okay, because they had to take stitches to keep the finger. Thank God, you know, children are pretty resilient, so yeah. he grew it back. He grew that part of his finger. It was uh, crazy. Yeah. Poor kid. That's really gross. Yeah, I fell off a swing, by the way, and I broke both my arms and a leg and my jaw. And I was uh, a month in critical and a week in coma from a swing. Wow. Holy shit. My good. first time, it was my 10th birthday. First time on a swing because my mom never liked taking me to the park. So she decided to take me to Central Park for my birthday because my sisters were planning a surprise party. So she took me to the park during that time that it was setting up. And um, and I fell, of course. Somebody was pumping the swing, and I passed out and let go. And yeah, I'm afraid of heights now. Definitely. I like uh, when I was a kid. Like I, I, I don't know, it wasn't that bad. I, uh, I, we were swinging, and I was with this one kid. And we would like, I don't know, we were just like, like, oh, hey, I'm gonna do a little fire pole thing. I'm gonna like try to kick you in the face, and I like <laughs> the kid in the face, and I don't know what happened to him, but I'm pretty sure he like might have lost a tooth or something but I felt really bad but it was a game we were both we, we could have both lost that game but he he lost <laughs> I think it's like it was really young I really I just remember there being a little bit of blood and I don't know wow I had six pregnancies and six sprained ankles <laughs> no joke that's pretty good uh that's pretty good equivalent I don't know yeah why six not? sprained ankles, six pregnancies. My my belly couldn't, my feet couldn't handle my belly. <laughs> by the way, that's awesome. So I've broken many many bones. I mean, it's nothing new. Except my, I mean, I've always broken the arm, but never the hand itself. You know, not by slapping someone. That's for sure. That's absolutely mm-hmm. nuts. Good thing you didn't break. Good thing you didn't do it with your. Did you not do the other watch? Uh, the other hand because you had your Apple Watch on. I can't do anything with my left hand. Because of the watch, or no? Yeah, well, general. okay, I'll, I'll 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 play that role. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want the watch to get dirty or scratched or you know, or banged or broken. Yeah. My mom's been talking about getting a Fitbit, so I uh, I am just like, hey, what's this? Go-? But I just like, so I just ordered her. I just ordered her an Apple Watch. I'm excited. I ordered her a white oh, a white nice. one. I'm, I'm excited. I'm yeah, like, I was gonna get an, another one because someone was selling them. <laughs> Ooh. And yeah, they were selling them for cheap, so I was gonna get another one. And then I say, you know what? Why spend the money? But you one understand? Of the, I, mean, I can't hands. put them on both hands. I mean, if you get two phones, you can. 
Definitely. I can use one on my iPad and one on my on my. Uh, Why I use two phones phone. for work, so I feel like I I hate that I have to choose which phone I use. So I use well, I use the iPhone six day today, but I have a six plus two. I can't use it with, but. Oh. She'll, she'll be using hers with a 5S, which is... See, but if we phone. have two phones out here in New York, um, we're drug dealers, by the way. <laughs> <sighs> AK so gadget, AK, or gadget collectors. Like, you should see the shelf behind me. Like, I'm surprised. If I ever got seriously pulled over, like, it would look bad because I have a, I have a, a at least, like, two phones on me. It's It looks kind of bad. But, you know, one for just, you know, straight, in you know, earbud listening music or... Uh, for the car, or, you know, GPS, but yeah, it's bad. But go on, sorry. I just want to. I want to justify it. No, definitely, definitely. But no, if you have two phones out here, you're a drug dealer. So I didn't even try that one. My mom has two Obama phones, and everybody calls her Ebola. So imagine. A what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this language. This language. You, you don't know what Obama phones are? Oh, no, I know what phones? that is. I don't know oh, what the okay. word you said after that, what, which I can't repeat because I don't know what a it means. A baller. A baller oh, means that she a has baller. money okay. and she's a drug dealer, you know? I see. Yeah. So, you know, my 86-year-old has two cell phones. <laughs> Why not, though? All right. <laughs> so I, I feel like a baller because, um, all right, uh, it was must have been Friday. No, it was Saturday, Saturday afternoon. I was I was hanging out in the back backyard, and uh, I noticed that my air conditioning wasn't going past like seventy eight, and I was like, "Oh no, it's it must be like a really hot day out." So you know, it's not getting past that. So I I turned it off just for a little bit, just to give it a chance to not overheat because I was afraid it was going to be it was on all day and just not giving it. You know, I didn't want to burn out the motor, so I turned it off and I went to go turn it back on. I'm like, "Oh, it's not turned on outside." So I'm like, great, my air conditioning is broken, 90 degree heat day. And so I uh, slept through the night. It was absolutely awful. I slept downstairs. I was almost going to sleep in the basement. Um, I looked outside. I'm like, oh, so I I realized that, like, I wonder if there's, like, something shoot through the wire or something or, um, like, what 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 am I what am I missing? Like, and I saw, like, a chewed wire going to the to the thermostat or to the, like, I thought it was like the thermostat wire or whatever. And I just heard my friend do this with like a, uh, a, a weed, weed whacker. So I am like, Oh great. So I called my, the thermostat people and it's like 200 bucks to uh, have them come out that day. I'm like, okay, if I can have them come out regularly, cause it's still under warranty like tomorrow or like, you know, hopefully, you know, they'll just get it done for free. But I'm like, okay, so I guess I can deal with another night. For two hundred dollars, for two hundred dollars, I might as well just go buy like a window, air, another weir, a window air conditioner or something, or like a nice one that you put in the middle of the thing. And I have a window Definitely. air conditioner too for the studio, so I'm good in here. Like it's gonna be you know nice and cozy in here. But, um, and I'm like, and I don't even think about this, but because my I have like an older house, so like we hit there the the reset isn't like on the like the air conditioner or outside. But someone someone asked like, oh check your check your breaker box. So I go downstairs, and my breakers tripped on my air conditioner. And fortunately, I didn't spend the two hundred dollars uh, to have them come out because they would have just pressed that fucking switch on, and I would have looked like the dumbest fucking idiot ever. Oh my god! That was the- <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. But I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't realize it. Like the next day, like even I would have right. uh, that. T- I would have been worth the two hundred dollars to know that you know I it still would have been worth it to have air conditioning work, but. Oh my god! If I still had them come out yes the other day, but I'm mean, well. Number one, if, it, if I would have paid the emergency service and had them come out, oh my god, I would have felt so bad. Oh well. All right, stiletto. I'm eating sour keys. What are they? Sour keys. What I want some. They look so, like something different. I'm so jealous. I want those. Well, I know so bad. you want this in your face, right? I do have some like um some things. From a, a fine company, which you guys should tweet and tell them they should sponsor this show, Nature Box. They're actually really good. I should eat those. Um, but so what's up? What's up, Betsy? What's uh, what's going on? Not much. Just this. Just this. I'm miserable. What is? So what, do they, what do they got to do today? What's uh? What do they have to do for you? I have no clue, but I'm just happy that they'll take off the cast for a little while. Okay. That's and good. I can scratch and wash my hands or do something or even scratch my butt with my right hand. <laughs> I'm uh I'm curious on on your butt wiping procedures over the past <laughs> while, but I'm uh 
I'm excited. No, by I'm the way, I you. wipe my own ass. I don't need help, just in case anybody was wondering. I would, I would pretend like I needed help. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd seriously get like the. I forgot who did it. It was like some cartoon character. They made like a hinge cast, so you put the cast back on. So you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'd be asking favors for Herbie all night long. I'd be like, I can't do anything. Ah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, show show off those sour keys. <laughs> those sour keys do not look. Uh, no, I know how to wipe my own ass. It's a little harder now, but as long as I have wipes, I can do it. Yeah, I'm a fan of wipes too. So wipes are uh, a good pleasure, and I think I can do it with one hand. Yeah, it, it it was hard at first, but it's pretty good now. You, yeah, I, taking I, a shower is hilarious. Oh, because I've yeah, I've uh, I've like gotten like my finger like like sprained or whatever so i've had like little casts on it whatever whatever but yeah that's hard enough so like just shower with your hand exactly. up exactly yeah i put a plastic bag yeah and um i keep my hand up and i you know do the whole thing washing my hair is a hoop <laughs> it must be fun well you have yeah I, that's Thank why I, goodness I, have short hair. I know that's why I, when i had long hair i was uh I, I, it was awful, but now as soon as I cut my hair, it was so nice to have the shorter hair. Stiletto, I'm looking at you. What's up? Seriously, show off a, a full sour key. This, I want to see what a full Oh, I got like. some keys for you. I got some keys. What you want? What you need? I just want to see some of these keys. Well, that is so cool. Show the other ones. <laughs> and there's these flavors. Look at <laughs> What's happening? So there's that. It's fun. Sorry. Only two, only two types of keys? Um I mean they're they're all very they're all like a bunch. Oh, okay. Damn, you ate the whole bucket. Well, I mean I gave one or two to my kids, so just one or two each, but That's awesome. It's fine. Let me, uh, let me. So, what's going on with your son, though? Actually, I guess you didn't. Did you tell Beef about this? No, I haven't. Ooh. I was going to tell him about it. I'm excited. Yeah. My son just uh, did his first, uh, well, he's had videos, but he had his first professional video. You know, he's a rap artist. Well, Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, my son did a stiletto, and I, I, mean, I was going to send it to you, but I wanted your permission first, you know? And stuff. But, uh, you know. I want yeah, to see well, it. I respect that. I don't do those things. I even ask the letter, right? Before I send it to her. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. And Well, you should send it to me so we can listen to it for the after show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I will send it to you. And I'll send you the link. Send me those. It's on uh, YouTube, yeah. I want to see those. But see it's those so links. hard, like, getting it out there. You have to, like, explain yourself. Please like on YouTube. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's. So I have to be like so specific. How do I go about stuff like that? It's it's really hard for me because I'm not used to doing stuff like that. You come on podcasts and you tell people to do it do it here. Awesome. That's what I would do. Will do. Will do. Speaking I'm of, I'm gonna like, send you the link and you know you can actually do that for me. This shows can. this shows all about plugs. Speaking of which, do you guys like getting plugged? I uh, know. Definitely. I know I what do. I know what people like on the internet. And it's Patreon. It's P-A-T-R-U-N dot com slash bad beef. That's how you help support the show. But not only do you help support the show, you get a uh, exclusive content. What does that mean? Oh, what would you like to know? Um, <laughs> go on the internet and just see. Be like, hey, what is this? What is this internet thing? Just go on P-A-T-R-U-N dot com slash bad beef to help support the show. Um, also, things you can help do to help support the show is uh, use Change Chip to help uh, do micro payment donations. Because uh, that's also fun to do. Uh, what you can also do is you can help retweet by retweeting the show uh, after the fact. Because we do post archived versions of the show on YouTube, if you didn't know that. Or if you watch this on YouTube, you can find us live every day uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on at Meerkat or Ustream. Uh, all those links can be found on my Twitter, which is bad underscore beef. Uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, just we just look on the look on the uh, look on the internet and see what you can find about us. Ooh, tell two people you know about the show too. That's a fun thing. Uh, so you can do that by retweeting or just yelling out the window. It's totally up to you. Um, you know, it's uh, whatever. It's about whatever's easiest. Definitely. Or legal in your state, so it may or may not be <laughs> legal to yell randomly out your window, but 
I want to make sure we're all covered. Just know what what's ever illegal in the state is probably legal up here. So just, great. Just go to Canada. All right, guys, we're going to Canada. Just let loose. We're going to switch this over to after show territory. But what do you guys have to plug? What would you guys want the internet to know about? Betsy Boop is at Betsy Boop thirty five, and Sluto at Sluto from Mom. Drop the E. But what? But what else, Betsy? Betsy, come on, Betsy. Uh, what would you what? want the people? To, what would you want the people to know about on the internet, if anything? I don't really know. That's a hard question. There's so much to know. I mean, I can't pinpoint one. <laughs> That's so unhelpful. Uh, sorry. Stiletto's good at this. Go ahead, girl. You go. <laughs> I'm check just out, learning with you guys. Check out Betsy's um, YouTube video. She will be um, tweeting that shortly this morning of her uh, son's video. So make sure you all check that out and make sure you like that stuff on YouTube. Check out slowsuperman.com for me because I do stuff. Right now I'm eating keys. I do stuff. And um, I appreciate I'm on that. Meerkat. I, yeah, super, sure. but drop the E in super, mom. Still out of super mom. And talkloudradio.com for my radio show. And back to you, Beef. Thank you. I just want to keep dancing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you guys for being here. I, um, I'm glad. Thank you for dropping in and, uh, you know, dropping those keys. Yay. <laughs> I'm so I jealous. I'm so jealous. I want some sour, sour stuff right now. I don't know. I know what you want. <laughs> we all want that those are nice so, looking keys I'm just saying uh, I wish I had a key like that I know it's nice right. key. one day though we'll get it you know it'll happen and if not he's always I always get those emails saying if you want a key like that it's only like <laughs> eight, or, 8 or 9 dollars a month alright exactly. guys um, I think that's right. it uh, thank you guys you guys should make sure you follow Betsy Boop 35 Slut of Super Mom Drop the E uh, on Twitter and uh, Meerkat and everything else. Um, goodbye to Betsy's cast. And uh, goodbye to you guys. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow.